Hey now, hey now, hey now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special edition of Over the Line. This is the Father's Day edition, something we have never, ever in the whole wide world done before, but we're doing it this year because we just feel like we should. Happy Father's Day to everybody. I've got P. Diddy here with me, and it would only be appropriate that him and I do a podcast together because... Honestly, we've we've never even done that. Never done a podcast. We've talked about it several times, but um, this is the first time. And I think what I'm trying to do is show you the ropes on uh, what we do. I, <laughs> I was giving you pointers um, yesterday about what you needed to do to kind of get ready for the show. What did I tell you? Take notes about what I want to talk about. I was telling you... Come up with some topics, and then let's break it down uh, as to uh, what we want to talk about, so on and so forth. Got this cool setup going on. You see, we got the arcade machine. We got Fortnite guns, dart boards, uh, games in the back, all kind of stuff. Shout out to Trish for hooking that up, because that is fancy. But this is going to be nothing crazy structured or anything like that, because when it's an 11-year-old's first podcast, it's probably not going to be very polished. Just because, I mean, even before the show, Peyton was like, <laughs> moving his cup around. He had this pen over here, and he was going, I'm like, you can't do that. <laughs> he, I was like, I'm going to have to take the pen. I did. I took the pen away from him. So, But I'm excited to do this. This is something we've wanted to do for a while. Um, first, something I texted you, Peyton, and I don't know if you saw it yet. Oh, gosh. Hold on. We're just doing some of this on the fly. Oh, yep. The brand new edition, the new cover of Madden 2022. What's your thoughts on this? I like it. I mean, you know, it's two people who have already been on the covers of Madden, which is kind of weird. But Brady was on in 18. Yeah, he was. Brady was 18. Patrick Mahomes was 20. Hmm. So who was on 21? Uh, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Because I already knew the um the MVP or I, I really just thought it was gonna be the cover was gonna I, I knew it was gonna be two people because I kept seeing these things about it and one of them was like Patrick Mahomes and Trace McSorley. No oh, gosh. I was like yes. So tell me, uh, you have this fascination or at least did had this fascination with Trace McSorley. He played college at Penn State. Penn State. Not necessarily a household name or anything. I mean, I think Not if you all. go up to the average person and ask them what they think of Trace McSorley, they're probably going to be like, what? Who is that? Is that a senator or a congressman? <laughs> why the fascinate? Why did you have such a fascination with McSorley? Because he just never played. And that sounds <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> so you basically picked the second string guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. They got no play time. Trace McSorley over LeBron Jackson any day, and he oh, was. Day. He was. He was so good in Madden. It was crazy. Yeah. I wonder why. Was EA Sports in on the joke too? I don't know. Like I had a my team. His overall was like six. Not even sixty. It's probably like fifty-two. Fifty-two out of what? Out of a hundred. Oof. Oof. <laughs> And like, um, yeah. And he was just so good. He, I, I, I would pick him over Lamar Jackson on my mm. team. I had him as quarterback. So we're obviously Patrick Mahomes fans. We respect Tom Brady, but I wouldn't respect Tom Brady if he wasn't very. Um, what if Tom Brady came up and kissed you like he kisses his son? Yeah, no. What would you do? He's going to jail. <laughs> And then he won't be able to play, and so Chiefs will win. Yeah, that's true. I And, and I'll be honest, my only grudge against Tom Brady, because he seems like a likable guy, he's a MAGA guy, but it's just the fact that there was a lot. And still to this day, he kind of overshadows Peyton Manning, and I don't take kindly to any of that because we're obviously big Peyton fans. That's how this kid got his name. All my friends are like, Joe Montana is better than... Peyton Manning. No, oh my gosh. It, uh, the, the comparisons between these old players and new players, I, I don't... I mean, okay, well, I do it with LeBron James and Michael Jordan, but in football, it's a it's a different game. You know, they've changed so many rules. They've changed the way you can tackle, everything else. 
I don't think it's fair to compare the two. Yeah, I think it's fair to compare, um, like, Michael Jordan and LeBron just because of, like, how um, LeBron played in the era, era where everybody was tough, and then in the middle, like, where Shaq, well, no, not where Shaq played, like, in between, that was a decent era. Right. And now is a pretty good era as well. But I feel like LeBron James, or Michael Jordan playing in a tougher era. And if you think about it, LeBron's not that good. Like, he's not. He's really not. He just does a lot of social stuff or whatever. He's a social justice warrior. Yeah. He's not good at all. I mean, half of his playtime is acting like he's injured. Yeah. He, he's not He's not good. I feel like it's just what he does makes him look like a good guy. I'll sure. never trust anybody that pretends to read books. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Can't even read. Whatsoever. So, Michael Jordan, yeah, back in the 90s, the late 90s, well before you were ever thought of, basketball was an amazing game. And you're talking about the end of the, the Jordan era, the beginning of the Kobe era. That's some basketball that'll be unmatched. You don't see that these days. And another movie, like a basketball movie, that will never be matched, even when the new one is now coming out of Space Jam. Space Jam. I'm not. I, you said you want to watch the new Space Jam. I want to watch it, but I'm not gonna like it. I'm not gonna enjoy it. I mean, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll enjoy it, but it, it's not. Even if it is better, I'm not gonna love it. More I'm gonna watch it, but I'm not gonna like it. I'm gonna enjoy it. Like even if it is better, I'm still gonna like the old Space Jam better. Yeah. Also, uh, speaking of Patrick Mahomes, uh, as you see here, he was quoted. Uh, when I guess they were asking him about being on the cover of the, the new Madden game, he said, my dad used to beat me with Dante Culpepper and Randy Moss and the Vikings. He would just throw bobs for touchdowns and I would be crying in the game room. Who does that sound like? Well, not me now, but it used to be me. I'd always <laughs> pitch a fit. I'd be like, you're cheating, you're cheating. You, you're a bot, you're a bot. Well, um, now I'm ten times better than you at the game. But. Yeah, you you own me at, at Madden. I'll give you that. But I got your number at, at NBA. Okay, well, we're, like, tied. No, we're not tied. <laughs> okay, um, I'll clap you in 2K. I'll clap you in 2K. You got, you're going to have to explain some of this verbiage you're using. Some of our audience ain't going to know what you're talking about. Like, how do you... <laughs> I'm going to... You. <laughs> you. Oh, man. So, uh, that's something interesting that happened uh, over we, the past few days. Can we mention that we're not um, Kansas City Chiefs bandwagons? Just so whenever, if my friends watch this, they actually know that I'm not a bandwagon. No, we're not. We're not. Peyton definitely isn't a bandwagon. If you're, if you're going to uh, pen somebody for being a bandwagon, maybe you could pen me with that. Because I grew up as a Falcons fan. And then when Peyton Manning graduated from Tennessee, he went to Indianapolis. So I immediately went to Indianapolis. Colts fan all the way. And Peyton was born 2010. Uh, Peyton Manning had a few years after that. So we obviously follow, followed Peyton from the Colts to the Broncos. But once Peyton retired, we reverted back to what we were fans of originally. Chiefs. Which is the Chiefs. Because his Nana, my mom, and my sister... They live out towards Kansas City. What, 2016? So he's been, in some capacity, he's been a Chiefs fan from day one. He was born into it. So it's not it's not a bandwagon thing. And um, if if you're a little kid telling him he's a bandwagon fan, I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> I ain't, hey, I'm not beneath beating up a kid. Yeah, well, never mind. <laughs> you should see the way I talk to kids on Fortnite. You mean Rocket League. Rocket League. That's right. I have to type, though. There's no mic. <laughs> you know the Rocket League when you're scrambling to type some smack talk, but you got to do it fast yeah. because they'll quit so they and they'll never leave. see it? <laughs> yeah. That's what we do. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's how we spend our time. Uh, so sports on that front, um, not much else going on. Uh, Tennessee is, in fact, in the World Series, College of Baseball World Series. Excited about that. It's going to be in Omaha. You always tell me on Rocket League, you're like, don't talk trash. Well. And I come in the room and you're like, you frickety frick. Well, listen, I, I do things that I don't want you to do, okay? 
you can you can do it when you're my age because you're an adult and you get to make those decisions. But every time, every time I say this, there's going to be a lot of things that I do that you're not allowed to do. Okay, and you see me drinking a beer. Obviously, you're not allowed to drink a beer. So, well, I introduced just the way... you to that game. I hope you. I thought you were going to say you introduced me to beer. I did. Like, whoa, that's a game changer. Um. Uh, also, what else we want to talk about? Hey, here's Tom the thing. Tom McDonald. Let's talk about Tom McDonald. But we we were doing this podcast just to kind of give you guys a shout out for Father's Day. But just for me and P. Diddy to hang out and kind of talk about me and P. Diddy stuff. Kind of give you guys a behind the scenes look at, at our relationship and, and how we operate. Tom McDonald is a big one, though. Yeah. Um, Tom McDonald. We, we did a podcast on Over the Line of about Tom McDonald and he um he's a rapper he's originally from Canada I think he lives out in California now yep. independent artist he had several projects in the past he used to he did some amateur wrestling like pro amateur wrestling I guess like the WWE wrestling and he started a rap career did it all on his own just him and his girlfriend and they've completely blown up and he is literally one of the hottest artists if not the hottest hip hop artist right now in the whole industry uh he introduced me to him and it appealed to me immediately because it was a deal where he was talking about social issues and even political issues but when you're talking about things like antifa black lives matter uh people getting their feelings hurt censorship all this stuff he was covering all of it and so when he showed it to me i'm like whoa and he's good he's good at what he does yeah we've been fans for him for about like a year and I mean, before he had a million subscribers, like I probably stayed up to like two in the morning just to watch him hit a million subscribers. Yeah, so we've been following him, and now he's just absolutely blown up. Blown up. We even bought some of his merchandise. We we got an album from him, like a physical copy of a CD that he signed for us. It's at my house. It's autographed. Yeah, it's at his mom's house, and he's hanging it on the wall with a lot of other cool stuff he's got over there. Uh, his latest video is called Snowflakes, and it's actually pretty damn good. Now, I need to I need to say this up front because YouTube's going to come after me for playing this. And Why don't I don't, you just show them the video? Well, I'm going to, but YouTube is going to try to say that I'm using copyright music, show, whatever. Show his permission video well i did that on the last one and they still pinged me for it i don't think they care what i think they want to say that's not your video you just can't play it but i'm gonna play it anyway i don't care nerds but the point is tom mcdonald has come out and said hey if you want to use this in your video go ahead but what i don't get is there are people that do reaction videos that get monetized that play this stuff but they don't get in trouble. Yeah, well, they ha they get permission from artists. You you mean to tell me all these people that do Tom McDonald or I any artist uh, uh, reaction videos they go get they go get permission that each one of them get permission from the owner. Yeah. No way. It's yeah. not possible. There's too many of them. No, like um, I think the ones who are smaller and can't get in touch with them probably just. Write a letter? Just... In crayon? No, just like... Like Dear Santa? Like, don't even do nothing, probably. Like, they just play it, and if they get copyrighted, then they just don't monetize it. I feel like that answer to my question is absolutely useless. Um, okay, so here's Tom McDonald with Snowflakes. Um, let's pull this up here. I'll play it in 30-second increments, actually, so maybe that'll help us... We just disappeared. <laughs> I know. I'm like, well, what happened? Uh, let's put it down here. Tom McDonald. Big Daddy T. <laughs> Big Daddy T. With his new song, Snowflakes. Check this out. It's actually really good. If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. But when they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. You think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings? But you're pro-choice. Abortion kills way more children. If America's so terrible and racist, it probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. Just saying. And now that's brutal. Can I say, if America's so racist, why are y'all encouraging these people to pour across the southern border? Why is everybody not saying that every single day? 
Right? I mean, you say what they teach you in school, what you see on the news, what you see other people talk about. They talk about how awful this country is, how racist it is. Why are they so adamant about allowing people to, to come over here? Yeah. And, and, you know, illegal immigrants cross the border with no, no sort of responsibility, no tracking these people, no trying to find out who they are. And, then and why have, do they want to come if we're so racist? And then you have kids who have no clue what they're talking about, so it, they end up like looking like very racist people because they're like Mexicans are crossing the border. <laughs> right. It's like all the contradictions are embarrassing. You know who hates America the most? Americans. Trigger warnings used to be on TV for seizures, and now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she, his, him, hers, them, they. Screw a pronoun because everyone's a retard these days. Here there's not many people that can say the R word in their music and can get away with it. Well, he doesn't care. No he does not care, and I think that's important. Yep. Also, do you know, even though Tom McDonald's against all that, he's not against anything except for people that are against everything. I think that's important. Do you know who that is? Nope. That is a famous YouTuber that's transgender. That's actually a guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? No. Trish told me the guy's name, and I can't remember. Um, transgender YouTuber. He kind of looks like a mannequin. So <laughs> I mean, uh, let's uh, can we give him credit? He he did a pretty good job looking I, like a girl. I thought he was a chick. <laughs> did you think to yourself, "Oh, Nova's gonna be mad. He's bringing this hot chick into his video." Uh, no, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like. I was like, why is this random girl in his video? <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, I'm just getting a bunch of random and transgender people. it's not even people. like a feature. It's just like this random chick like rubbing crap. Snowflakes. You talking about this one or a different one? No, her. She was like rubbing like, I don't know, like a sign or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I know she was like... Hey, uh, question. You're live on the podcast, by the way. Um, the 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 tranny chick that's on the Tom McDonald video. What was her name? Yes, Blair White. Blair White. That's it. Okay, thank you. Love you. Long time. Bye. Snow White, the princess. Blair White. Now you can go look her up. I mean, you don't have to. I'm just telling people that are watching. Go look up Blair White. That's who this is. Tom McDonald is so wild and crazy. He's like, I'm going to bring... I've been talking all this smack about transgender people, and guess what? I'm going to bring one on my video. You're preaching at the protest that hatred's the problem, but hating straight men, white folks, and Christians is common. Coca-Cola telling people they should be less white. They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight. There's a race war here. Elections based on fear. Black lives only matter once every four years. Oh, oh. That one was like... That may be the bro most brutal line in the whole song. Yeah. It's just, I mean, it's just true. Black Lives Matter only once every four years. According Ouch. to the media, not like literally. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, that's what they say. Special soldiers died for this country, and every one of us benefits. Give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans. Black folks and white folks divided by the news, but we are all the same. We are red, white, and blue. Ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so. This is just so good. It's so good. I want that that big old jacket he's got. The one with the that skeleton one? No, the big old puffy Gucci jacket with North Face on it. I want the skeleton one with the skeleton britches. I think that'll look good. I want his chain. I want all of it. Yeah, I want to be too. Tom McDonald. Yes. The system for put an ammunition shop across the street from a liquor store. Empowering women used to be different than this before. The role models got only fans or dance on a stripper pole. Screw it, I ain't tripping. I don't mean to be mean. But if our children are the future, then our future is bleak. They take an Adderall to focus, hit McDonald's to eat. They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep. He's taking shots at you, bro. No. You're a kid. Taking, no. You're the future. No. And you're eating Tom McDonald's. Tom McDonald's loves me. <laughs> You're eating McDonald. He's talking about you, bro. Tom McDonald loves me. You me and so? Austin should run for president, and he'd be my vice president. Austin? Me and Austin. You and Austin are going to... Y'all keep talking about wanting to do your own podcast. Yes. Well, I, here's the thing. I'll give you the green light on doing a podcast if you'll tell me, like, if you will show me that you've actually structured a podcast, uh -huh. and you know what you're going to talk about generally... Then I'll let y'all do one, but I'm not gonna get you, let you come in here and just waste a bunch of time and put my my fancy equipment at risk of getting broken. You know, 
Yeah. So just think about it. Maybe the people that are watching this podcast have some suggestions on what they would like to see a couple of 11-year-olds talk about. Yeah, do that, please. So in the comments, if you've made it this far in the video, go to the comments and say, if Peyton and his friend do do a podcast, this is what I want to hear them talk about. Whoever comments, I'll subscribe to you. <laughs> You'll subscribe to your channel, whoever. All of them or just the people we pick? Just the people that comment. I'll okay. Subscribe to you. Got it. They blurred the lines dividing communism and democracy. In 2021, we paid the Patriots as Nazis. The men playing women's sports and trophies for winning. Like, great, let's celebrate a man for beating some women. If you're black, your life matters. You're supposed to embrace it. If you're rich or you're smart, then you're probably Asian. If you're gay, then you're brave. All of that I'm okay with. But if you're white, the stereotype is you are a racist. Like- That's true. Black gay people are cool. Black gay people are like, cool. Like, they're always chill for some reason. Like, not like chill, like calm down. Because they're like wild, but like, I don't know. Really? Yeah. Here, Here's my assessment on gay black people. I'm talking about gay black people on my Father's Day podcast with my son. Okay? Just so everybody notes that. Um, I deal with a lot of people from different walks of life. Straight people, black people, gay black people, straight gay white people. And I find that every group has an equal amount of jerks. Because I've, I've run across many um, gay black people that get in with their nose up in the air and, you know, have an attitude. And the same thing with gay white people. Being gay, like... Like, people who say it's a gender, it really doesn't even make sense to be a gender. What do you mean? Like, at all. Because, like, not even, like, being homophobic. Just, like, gay, like, liking men or liking women. (laughs) I feel like you've got a thought that you're trying to get out and you can't figure out how to express it. Yeah, because I want to sound like (laughs) such a a bad person. Hold on. Well, if you say something that makes makes you look like a bad person, we'll just cut it out. Actually, probably not. I'm probably going to play all of this. Let me think. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Like, you're, you're talking about genders. Okay, so. Okay, gay is not a gender. You know that. Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. All this crap is weird. I don't even understand, like, how is there 72 genders? Like, there's not even more than two genders for you to like. Yeah, I, it, the gay thing is one thing, you know, and we we love gay people just like we love straight people. We There's no love lost for them people. There's no, no reason to view them any differently, but when you get into this business about 72 genders, that's when we start looking at you differently. <laughs> like, if that's your gimmick, we think that's dumb, okay? If you think there's more than two genders, you, you are in fact dumb, and we so, are judging you. I mean, you can, I, I think you should just, just like like what you want to like and then whatever but it's not a gender it's not a gender whatsoever. i mean you can live in your little fantasy world where there's 72 genders but you can't bring it into the real world yeah because... there's never gonna be two genders so don't even like i mean there's really not even a point in there will never be more than two genders. Yeah, that like, never. It's not going to happen, <laughs> so just give it up. I'm in capitalism, like that's the reason things are tough. Why you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks. You're supporting what you stand against. You don't think you are, but a Percocet addict don't donate money to pharma. Damn, dog, we're all afraid to speak the truth. And the more afraid we get, the more we hate the ones who do. You're ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are- I just love Tom McDonald. He's I wish so I could good at talk to him, like... I've talked to him before, but like, I wish I could talk to him more. It's pretty cool. Now, uh, his girlfriend, Nova, the person that does all of his uh, videos and stuff, she shout gave you a shout-out out one time. Yeah. Now, I had to type it in the chat like 20 times, but she finally saw it. She gave you a shout-out. Yep. So, that was pretty cool. Uh, anyway, again, we've done a, a podcast where we talked about Tom McDonald, but you can go uh, look him up yourself. I encourage you to do so because it's it's really good. He's got a lot of good music, um, even outside of that song. That's just, we play that one for you because that's the newest song. He's got older songs like Canceled, Clown World, Politically Incorrect. He had like a dry spot of songs and then everything from there was just fire. Yeah. Well, he's got, you know, it's, 
there's it was weird at first it was like it was kind of good but it wasn't real good and i think he's getting into a groove where it's actually really good the music and the lyrics uh, but what they do so they don't you know overplay the the culture card i guess he'll do a song like this and then he'll do a couple other random songs like they did one called heart emojis and it was kind of like a breakup song that one was very good for that, some reason really good. Uh, another one was about his, uh, where he used to be an alcoholic and a uh, drug addict. And he talked about how he needed church and he needed God and all this kind of stuff to get away from it and how he's clean. I don't know if he ever got into the part where he was clean, but it, it was related to all that. Anyway, go check it out. Good stuff. Yeah, Absolutely one about good cancer. Stuff. That was like during that whole cancer and all that. That was when it was like weird. And then like, I think it was Clown World. Yeah, Clown World dropped, and then everything was good yeah. from then on. Well, he even did, in the early days of COVID, he did a song called Coronavirus. Like, his music is very timely. You, you're, you'll hear his music. Like, if he drops a new song tomorrow, and you go listen to it, you're going to be like, man, you know, he's talking about something that just happened last week in this song. He's very up to date. They, they, they put this stuff out quick. And he is just, he is, uh, he is as much of an artist as Cardi B and Lil Wayne. Like, he is more a than legit an artist, artist Cardi B. but he's not under any record label. All the money they make off this stuff, which is probably millions of dollars, every single penny of it goes to them. Because they are a one-man, or technically man and woman operation. Cardi B's weird. She is weird. She's poisoning society she's poisoning the brains of not just children but um even young adults i talk to some people on, on a, a daily basis and, and it just it's shocking to me to hear how their brain operates on the, the state of the world or just or average i was talking to somebody before i got here and it was a young girl she's probably in her early 20s and I was talking to her about the COVID and stuff. She had no idea COVID was made from a lab. She barely knew how Dr. Fauci was, but she didn't know that Dr. Fauci had said in, in emails privately that masks don't work. She didn't know the fact that we were sending money to the Wuhan lab. She didn't know none of it. Nothing at all. And people do that. They just walk around. They don't care. And, you know, that that's their right. They can do that, but at the Some same time... Some people are so stupid, you can't even argue with them. Yeah, and then there's people that think they know what they're talking about, and really they're just repeating what they heard. And it's, Yeah, and and then they um, translate it very poorly, and then it just sounds like a big jumble of words. It's like, what are you talking about, dude? Oh, what are you talking about, dude? Dead? Okay, let's talk about cars. All right, what's your favorite car? Okay. This is hard because I have three, okay. and I'll rank them. I'll rank them, but like, okay, so I like the Skyline, right? Okay. Now, does everybody watching know what a Skyline is? I mean, I would hope so. They might not. Let's see. Skyline. Don't not subscribe to you. Yeah. Just kidding. No, he's not kidding. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Let's see here. Skyline. Okay, that's a that's a R thirty four. Is that the same one? I don't think that's the same one they used in the movie. That's not a Skyline. Well, that's a sky. That's a Skyline. You like that car? Yes, dude. That's ugly, bro. You're ugly, bro. Hmm. Look at the one from the movie. Okay, that Hello Kitty one is low key fire. <laughs> that is cool. That's actually cool. This I is would, what you would drive if you were transgender. I would one hundred percent drive that. Is that a toy? Yes, that's oh not even a real car. Oh my god, I need that. Oh my god. That's a no, that's actually cool. Which one is the one you're talking about from the, the movie? The one from the movie. Okay, that one. Paul Walker's right there, right there. Here? Nope, up, down. Up, down? Yep, that one. <laughs> Set up, down. All right, let's see what we got. His is the R34. It's not going to pull it up. That's a toy, too, it looks like. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Now, this one looks sharp. Okay, then we have a Supra. That's it. That's not at one? That no. looks like a Nissan. It is. And then, I mean, a, the Skyline's a Nissan Skyline, but oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Um, look up a Supra. A Supra. Now, Supras, I do like Supras. 
but okay not those first of all well what kind the bottom right red this one yep nah, i don't like that bro look if you put like half of a headlight cover over it scroll through the pictures scroll through the pictures half of a headlight cover over it like half headlight covers mm-hmm. and then that it would look so it would look so smooth the tail, the tail lights are really cool looking. I don't really like the look of that. I'm gonna be honest; it's not my style. Although that engine looks super cool, I like those seats as well. Those seats are cool. Yeah. Wait, is that on? Is the steering wheel on the passenger side? This must be in England. No, that's just the. Ha- that's a. It's that's the a pictures British. Pictures inverted. The pictures inverted. No. Yes, it is. No. Oh, well, maybe it is. I don't think it is. I think this is in the UK. Okay, well, maybe it is. JDM. And then for the final car, a Miata. Miata, Miata. How do you spell Miata? Like that. <laughs> you didn't even ask. You just typed it in. No. Well, that's no. what spell check's for. Which one? No. Okay, the ones with the light up, the little... These? Yep. Oh, my God. Okay, look it up. <laughs> that looks like something from the Cars okay, movie. Okay, 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 <laughs> shut up. Look it up. Customize. Miata Customize. I saw... Dude, I saw one ride down the road the other day whenever Mama was taking me out. Like, literally one turned in and I was freaking out. I was like, oh, my God. I've never seen such a cool car in my life. All right. Okay, like... Okay. I mean, just look at this. This looks like a movie prop. Okay, see, that, that picture's good. Um, If you lower the suspension, like, really low to the ground. <laughs> that. It looks like a, a, a 1980s robot movie. It is. It's like R2. What, what is the what is the uh, Johnny R2-D2. Number 5? You remember Johnny Number 5? No. I think it was the movie. It's called Short Circuit. Johnny Number 5? I'm about to school you on that. I can't believe that's the car you like, though. Oh, my gosh. You're just weird. You like those little Mazda cars. Ma- <laughs> when do I ever... I mean, not Mazda, Sonata, or whatever. Little... You talking about a Hyundai? Yeah, your little weird box. Weird box. <laughs> I love that car. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's not cool at all. It's Look, lame. This is, um, this is Johnny number five. Wooly memos, cheap source of sweaters. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I see it. Never mind. Go Wally? back to your nuclear warheads. Looks like Wally. Is that, that looks, that's a Miata. Hey, number five. No. What it looks just like a Miata. You're going to scare my animals, Bozo. Listen, I just called Nova, and they're coming out to get you. They're going to give you a tune-up. Tune-up? In foot. No, take you apart, find out which screw is loose. Apart, undone, dismantle, dissect, disassemble. All right. Jim! <laughs> oh, look, it's a grasshopper. You should love that movie. Anyway, that's what a Miata looks like. <laughs> that's exactly what it looks like. Look at him jumping. Did you see that? <laughs> These 80s movies. There's something else. All right. Um, as far as my favorite cars, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I'm just kind of a, I'm not a car guy. If I could pick anything, it would probably be... Like, my dream car in high school was a Cadillac Escalade on 22s. That's right. You don't like an Escalade? Your, your cars just aren't like... They aren't that... You're going to have to talk in the mic if you're going to do a podcast. Okay, yeah, this I is forgot what, about that. <laughs> Peyton and Austin's podcast going to be like, Yeah, man, <laughs> we're just chilling. What you want to talk about, bro? Your cars are, like, so lame. Let me show you. I'm going to show you lame. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'm going to show you lame. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. Look is that, that is that the car that 50 Cent drove in the... Or not 50 Cent. Ice Cube drove in the movie? No, this is what Charles Barkley was driving when we saw him at the grocery store. Mm. Look at that. On a Mustang. That's sweet, baby. Look at that. Look up a Bronco. Look up a Bronco. I want a Bronco. I've seen the Broncos. The Broncos suck. You want one of those OJ rides. You talking about the new Broncos? Yes. 
I mean, again, looks like something from a cartoon. Tell me I'm lying. Look at it. Those goofy round headlines. I wish I could say half the things I want to say to you <laughs> right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, it's goofy looking. I don't know. So, anyway, we just wanted to um, hang out with you guys for a few. Wish you all a happy Father's Day. And, uh, I, again, as I said, Peyton and I have been trying to do a podcast together for a long, long time. Was never able to do it, but I guess our time is now. And so, uh, here we are. I was going to talk about fishing and stuff and our fishing adventures. No, fishing is lame. Just kidding. You want to see one of the first fish you caught? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Nope. Move this over here. Why Let's do you go. have so many pictures of me? Well, because I pulled them up for this podcast, buddy. Okay, we'll show them. I'll show them all of them. This right here is one of your very first... It's a big fish. I know. This was the very first fish you ever caught. By myself? Well, I mean, you hooked him, and I had to help you really man, but Duh. that was a big catfish right there. It was impressive. I was so excited, too. You were like, whatever. <laughs> like, you, you, you didn't think it was that big of a deal, and I'm like, bro, it's a huge fish. By the way, look at this sexy piece of man meat right here. Oh, my God. Look at this, <laughs> No. Look at that. No, stop. <laughs> look at that. Look at you. Man, yeah. look at those ribs, bro. You need a sandwich. How, did I, how was I doing that? <laughs> you need a sandwich, bro. What is that? Look at my hairline. <laughs> it's like you went to the beach and nobody fed you for days. Oh my gosh. That was at Disney World, I think. Speaking of the beach, look at this. How stinking sweet is that? I probably fell. You probably had a big load of Duke in your diaper right there. <laughs> like that video we saw, I was like, Duke. <laughs> Oh, and then one time, I think this was your birthday at Chuck E. Oh, Cheese. Oh, yeah, dude, I was balling. Look at that. Balling! That's pretty impressive. I bought a ball. <laughs> yeah, you bought like a $5 ball with all those tickets. Nothing, literally, we went up there and they were like, candy for 1,300 tickets? <laughs> yeah, it was bad. It was a, it was a ripoff at Chuck E. Cheese. That's where it was, too, wasn't it? It was Chuck E. Cheese? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, absolutely... 100% a ripoff. So. I get messages of people like asking what time Chuck E. Cheese for some reason. Like, I got one the other day and I was like, what time are we going to Chuck E. Cheese? And I don't even know who it was. We need to do the Chuck E. Cheese conspiracy one day. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. You know about that, right? Yep. Apparently, they take their. Allegedly, I don't want to say apparently. Allegedly. They use their pizza. They go to the table where people have not eaten all their pizza. Take it to the back and then piece it all together and sell it as new pizza. It's not yep. those kids putting their lips on it, breathing, spitting on it. Gross stuff. So, but that's it. P. Diddy, appreciate you, buddy. Yeah. Had a good time. Better. Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Well, we appreciate you. You are loved and uh, you are part of making this world a better place in the future. By raising kids appropriately, that's what is hopefully most important. Hopefully, hopefully, you're not a libtard that's teaching your kid that there's 72 genders. Yep, let's hope that's not happening. Please don't do that. Until next time, see you, cools. <laughs>